Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, y'all see all this makeup on my face? This one didn't last, okay? As you can see, she all smudged up, my little heart. It's time for another super extra skincare nighttime routine that you really shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do anyways. Because I'm filming. And we have a bunch of new products to try out. I have several items from my flip order that I really wanna get into, especially those little eye globes. Oh my God. I cannot wait to bust those bad boys out. This is like a lot of makeup. This is probably the most makeup I've worn in a very long time. First things first, uh, these eyelashes gotta come off. I think one of them is already starting to lift a little bit. I'm kind of scared to pull these off. I'm just gonna take my eyelashes with it. Oh, um, okay. Okay, that's not that bad. Ow. Towards the end, that kind of hurt. Ooh. So one down. I said I could reuse these. I'm gonna grab the little case that it came in and I'm gonna put them back on there to kind of keep it hygienic. I'll be right back. This is one of those moments that hoarding pays off because I still have the box. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right back where I got it from. Uh, Not exactly, but she back in there. Hopefully it comes off just as easily as the other one. And it did. And I'm free. I am free from the lashes. Whenever we decide to do lashes again, which will probably be in a very long time. Uh, not really a lash girl. Okay, I like my natural lashes, even though they're very itty bitty. I prefer my natural lashes. So I will put these off to the side for use at a later time. The first item that I actually, oh, I hate saying actually, I need to stop saying that. It adds nothing to the video. The first item that I'm actually, <laughs> the first item that I'm going to try out is the face halo. This says I should be able to just wet this and then shoop, and the makeup is supposed to come right off. We're gonna put this to the test, especially with all this makeup. I'm really curious to see if it's gonna take this off of my face. All right, let's go ahead and see. It's taking off a lot of the makeup. This glitter is just, is not going anywhere. I mean, for what it's worth, it's gotten off a lot of the makeup. I'm gonna try and wet it and see if I can get even more of this makeup off my face. Granted, you're not gonna just use the face halo and then call it a night and go to sleep. Uh, no. Definitely gotta cleanse. Okay, get into the nooks and the crannies with some cleanser. It got a lot of the makeup off. The only thing is the glitter. And then I think that pink stained my eye. It probably has that red stuff in it that they say you're not supposed to actually use in your eyes, but they put it in like every eyeshadow palette. How does my cheek feel? Oh. Got another squatter. Got another squatter right there. That's why it hurts. I have so many squatters on my face. Uh, if you didn't get the memo, we're no longer calling the visitors visitors because they were not invited. Those are squatters, okay? Those are New York style squatters. I like this. I think it's gonna like, speed up some of the makeup removal process and it's gonna make it so you have to use less melting balm. Cause let's be serious. If you don't have that much makeup on your face, you don't need to like scoop out a huge amount of melting balm. So this is definitely a win. It's gonna save products and it's gonna save the environment cause you're not using a bunch of wet wipes or makeup removal wipes. Use this and then throw it in the washing machine. But let me see if it'll get this gloss off my lips. Ooh. Yeah, that worked actually really well. It got the gloss off my lips really nicely. I had that stuff caked on. I don't know what it is about that plumping lip balm, lip gloss from ColourPop that's so juicy. I'm addicted to putting it on. It just makes my lips feel so good. I don't understand it. This is a win. I really like this. We're going for another product and I've kind of already previewed it. And this is the P. Louise Make It Melt Mango Makeup Melter. And this is what she looks like. As you can see, I've been and dip it into her. But because I have my face halo, I don't gotta get that much. So I'm just gonna do, that's it. Well, you can get a little bit more. That's it, that's all I'm gonna use. I ain't using much else. This is just gonna help get that last little bit of makeup. Hopefully get all of the glitter off of my face. I got another, another uh squatter. I don't know why, my face just broke out really badly lately. Probably all the sugar I've been eating. <laughs> I need to stop eating sugar, okay? I need to go on a sugar-free diet so my skin can clear up all these dang blasted squatters. My lips feel so dry. That's the only thing with that little face halo. It took all the moisture 
out of my lips. That hurts so bad. This one hurts too, oh my God. All right, I'm actually going to, actually, I'm gonna stick my head in the sink and rinse all of this off and I'll be right back. I'm still getting some makeup off of my eyelashes, as you can see. Hopefully after I cleanse, I won't have any more makeup coming off my face. This isn't the best makeup makeup melter that I've tried. Definitely not eaten after that hydro melting, the, the one from e.l.f., okay? I never remember what it's called, but the one from e.l.f. is killing it in the game. For cleanser, we're gonna go in with a Pure Skin Face Cleanser by First Aid Beauty. I did get this in, what did I get this in? I was in something, maybe a lore box? Or was it Macy's? I don't know, I got it in one of those boxes. I, I, I just, uh, they're all starting to blend together. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this cleanser. Ooh, it's so pearlescent, very pretty pearlescent color. I completely forgot to put my wrist wear on. Usually I got my little wristbands, but it's all good. It's just a little water. A little water ain't never hurt nobody. I mean, well, a little water, no, but a lot of water definitely hurts a lot of people. Gotta make sure you get the eyelashes, okay? That's where a lot of that makeup just be staying. Right on them eyelashes. All right, let's see. Still getting mascara. It looks like we're not getting any mascara. I'm not saying anything when I'm rubbing the towel. So the cleanser got that last little bit that was hanging on for dear life on our eyelashes. <laughs> now that our face is I'm exfoliating. That was a lot of makeup I had on my face. I need to get that layer of skin off. I'm gonna go in with a tried and true, and that is the Dr. Scrub by Gold Fatten MD. This stuff is amazing. When Ipsy puts it on the shop, for the Lolo, your girl is definitely going to re-up. Cause this stuff right here, right here, ooh, I didn't mean to hit you. This stuff right here is pretty freaking amazing. I wanna get more of that happy skin that Allure has, and they actually have all that stuff on sale. That is the real tea. If you're a member and you're getting the Allure box, you can literally get more of that Yves Saint Laurent lip balm as well as the Elemis for like $25. If you buy the box, like the old boxes, you'll not only get that product, but you'll also get a bunch of other stuff. Don't tell anyone I told you. Well, I give them a little paycheck next week. Uh, I'm going shopping. Now I gotta do the lips, okay? I ain't trying to get no crusty dusty. So I'm gonna exfoliate my lips as well. Today, we're going to go back to the Aceology. I almost said actually again, but I caught myself that time. This is the Aceology Passion Fruit Refining Lip Scrub. This stuff smells literally amazing. And it's just, it's just, it's so delicious smelling. I don't know why I squirted out this much. This is enough for like three lips. It's on there, so definitely gonna use it. I'm gonna try my new method. <laughs> Get it all in there. Can't get no crusty or dusty out here. Ooh, this stuff smells so good. I'm gonna shove my head in the sink, rinse this all off, and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Get that stuff all up my face. <sighs> my skin feels so refreshed. I'm gonna put a little bit of this ancient Egypt, what is it? Egyptian magic. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my lips just to kind of keep them nice and moisturized while we finish the routine. Love this stuff. Definitely gonna re-up. I am re and up in on this stuff right here. Next is another new new. This is the I'm Red Wine Pore Tightening Mask by Tony Moly. Y'all, I love me some Tony Moly and I'm very excited to try this product out. Ooh, she thick thick, bruh. You see how thicky thick that is? Man, I was not expecting that. I don't know why, but I was kind of expecting something kind of like, you know that red mask that The Ordinary has? It's supposed to be like an exfoliant, a chemical exfoliant. I was expecting this to look like that. Not a thick jelly. It has a scent, but I'm not sure what scent that is. <laughs> this feels like kind of cooling. I don't know. It's like a gel, like a really thick gel. It says that you're supposed to let this sit, wait till it dries down, and then rinse it off. You're not supposed to peel this off. This is not a peel off mask. 
they say it very clearly in the directions, okay? So make sure you're reading your directions. I wonder if my pores are gonna actually look smaller. Technically, your pores don't shrink. All you really do is like clear them out so they don't look enlarged, but they're not actually shrinking. Like you're, you're always gonna have pores. You can't get rid of your pores and you, you shouldn't want to. They serve a function on the body. Oh yeah, and obviously don't get this in the eyes. Duh. I'm gonna let this sit for about like 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll be right back to check in and rinse this off my face. Oh my God, you guys, this stuff has dried down on my face and I can like barely move my face. This literally feels like a peel off mask. Like I feel like I can just like peel this off. I know I said not to, but it definitely peels off, but you're not supposed to do that. So I'm not gonna do that outside that little piece I did right there. This is actually starting to hurt a little bit. Bruh, this stuff looks so bad. Oh my God, ooh. That was definitely an experience, but I mean, my skin looks pretty good afterwards. Feels good too, I'm not even gonna lie. Feels really good. Probably not the most hydrating mask. I think it did what it was supposed to do. I like that. I like when the things do what it's supposed to do. My lips feel dry yet again, cause I mean, I shoved my head into the sink, so all the stuff I had on my lips just went down the drain, literally. So I am gonna go in with my candy melts by Plum and just put a nice protective layer over the lips. Keep them nice and hydrated. I'm gonna start putting on the products that are actually gonna stay on my face. The first thing is the Chalk Chalk Green Tea Watery Skin Toner by, y'all already know, Tony Moly. Now let's look at her. Ooh, she's got like a little pump. I'm not used to seeing toners with pumps. Ooh, it smells good too. You can definitely smell the green tea. If you're an avid green tea drinker, this is gonna smell exactly like green tea to you. It smells good, very refreshing. Now we're actually going, actually, urgh, we're going to use another tried and true. And this is the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Eye Mask. Y'all already know, she that girl. I, I don't even think I need to give her much of an opening. We all know that she's that girl. If I can get into it. Look at that. Very gold, very girly. And I think you're supposed to leave these on for like 30 minutes. So we're gonna leave these on for 30 minutes and then come right back and see what we're working with. All right, it's been much longer than 30 minutes. I got caught up in editing videos and yeah, time flew by. Moving on, I don't know if I featured this. The serum that I'm gonna use tonight is by Kira Moon and this is the Flower Melon Super Hydra Serum. And this is the cutest little bottle ever. I think all her products come in cute little thingies like this. So you can look like the Instagram people. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of serum right there. A little da 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 right there. Right there. Gonna rub this in real nice. It has a very strong flower scent. So if you do not like the smell of flowers, this serum is not for you. I don't mind the smell of flowers. As long as it's not roses, I'm good. So we're nice and serumized. It's actually gonna be the fun part. I'm gonna put a little under eye cream on and then we're gonna get into these ice globes. I've had them chilling in the fridge for a couple days now. I know you're supposed to put them in the fridge like maybe 30 minutes before before of, I've had them in the fridge for several days now. This little eye cream that I'm using is actually the, actually is the Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream by First Aid Beauty. This little itty bitty teeny tiny squeeze it too. I'm gonna rub this in and then we're gonna get into those eye globes cause bruh, I've been wanting those for the absolute longest. Like y'all have no idea. Ever since I found out about them and learned that they existed, it's been on my wish list for a very, very long time. These ice gloves are so freaking cute. Look at these. Ah! And they're glass. I did not know they were gonna be glass. For some reason I thought they would be plastic. Oh my God. Where have these been my whole entire existence? I gotta look up some videos on like different techniques for using this. This is probably gonna be really nice like on those days where you have a headache and you just need to get a little pick me up for the headache, a little relief. Oh my God, man, that feels so good. Oh my God, <gasps> oh my God. I gotta use these on Justin, he has to know. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for me, these are so nice. I gotta get my technique. I was trying to find a fun way to like 
add another phrase to that, but I just, I can't think of anything. The next thing is another tried and true. This is my Feel Squalene Facial Oil. Again, you don't need a lot. It's the ittiest, bittiest amount. I'm just like, doop, and you're good. I'm gonna just rub this in. We're gonna go in with another new product. And this is the Kate Somerville Retinol Vitamin C Moisturizer. And this is what she looks like. Super freaking adorable. We got her in, I think it was the most recent Mystery Ipsy. I don't know how much I need. I think this should be enough. So it is nighttime, which it says specifically, okay, it says specifically to use at night. So we're gonna use it at night, which is right now. Apparently this should help lighten up dark spots because it is a retinoid. Ooh, it smells good. It has like an orangey kind of scent to it. Like not full orange, it's like orange and something else. I don't know, but it smells really freaking good. I'm here for it. We are nice and moisturized. I am gonna go in with my nip and fab. We're gonna put these right on those squatters. Every single squatter is getting their eviction notice. There's one right there. Oh yeah, there's one right here. I can feel, I got a feel on my forehead. This is the Dermalect, uh, I think that's how you say it, Dermalect, and this is Extra Large Volumizer Eyelash Booster Formula. It's an eyelash eyebrow serum. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna use this for the entire month of April and see if there's a difference. Never got into the hype of using a serum on my eyelashes, but, if it's gonna make my eyelashes longer, thicker, and nicer, then I'm here for it. I'm also using this on my eyebrows, cause y'all know I got some sparse eyebrows. So if this can make my eyebrows thicker, then winner, winner, chicken dinner. We're gonna go in with another tried and true, and she's almost gone. My Cobb Cosmetics Lip Oil. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I need to get more. Best lip oil on the market, hands down. And that is the end of my super extra nighttime skincare routine that you really shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do anyways because I'm filming. Bores. Glass skin. Okay, glass skin with some visitors, well, squatters. Glass skin with some squatters. I don't know what else to say, it's a skincare routine. My skin has been routinely cared for. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.